Hi, my friend, it's Pat Sloan here. We have today uh, the next block of Will You Be My Neighbor? We have part two, the second block of Beautiful Morning, and some other fun things. So first, let's do Will You Be My Neighbor? So the next, we're on the next row. We'll be on the third row, and our block is what I like to call the castle. I think it looks like a castle, <laughs> you know, with the ramparts here you know that's got to have like a something behind it um i didn't make that visually what it could be like if you really wanted this part here to look like it was a um like a balcony then make the fabric below a different fabric like a little bit darker fabric and then or make it a lighter whatever but make this part up here and in here a uh, different from below that way it would make it be a little bit more distinct if you want to do that so here is my castle block and here's the third row that i have so far that means there's just two more blocks uh, that i have done prior and then i will start sewing so we're going to go on the back side of the table and i am going to show you all of my fabric that i have pulled for the rest of the blocks which is way more than i need but i thought i would show you because that would be kind of fun and then while we're there, we're going to look at the beautiful morning uh, block for this week. So let's go on over there. Before we look at the fabric, I have to tell you that the ragdoll quilt, my niece's quilt, uh, many of you found the pattern for me fairly quickly, which was just awesome, just awesome. It was in a quilt maker issue and apparently a couple things. One, there was the original issue, then Quilt Maker Magazine, which they did back in, uh, the 90s a lot I think is they would republish the patterns as single patterns and so a few of you found it on eBay for me so I ordered that they also were some on Etsy uh, plus one of our friends found that it was republished in I think 2013 in a quilt makers classics edition so the magazines often will put out something with the patterns from prior issues that were really, really popular. So it is out there a few times. It is not a free pattern, which is fine. Um, I purchased the pattern and I can't wait for it to get here. Next thing is I have to stabilize the one that's that I oh, that I have, her quilt, her physical quilt, and then I can give that back to her and then I'll make the um, a new one for her at some point. <laughs> so that'll be super fun, super excited. And thank you so much to everybody who was out there looking and got me that information. I had not done much of a search and I really didn't realize this name was Ragdoll. <clears throat> so that would have helped a lot had I known that name. Okay, <clears throat> oh, cough, cough. All right, let's look at, I wanna show you the fabrics for for my will you be my neighbor i have an entire tub of christmas fabric pulled and i have a few of the patterns printed off that are coming up i guess this must be the next one is what i'm guessing since it's on top the next one that i have to physically make there's two more before this one if this is it so what i have in here is i sort of did i have sort of black fabrics these are all christmassy feel if not downright christmas this ho 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 on this one Yep, Holly, Mary and Bright. Um, I also have, of course, my polka dots, which are being used in the roofs and things like that, and my background. So this is my background fabric. All the blocks have this very tiny pin dot. It's black, so it's, I just love the effect that it gives. Then I've got a red stack. Red, 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 everything red. Look at this. Like a lot of these are just not going to get used. They're just not. Uh, but I'm keeping them together until I get all the blocks done. I have the aqua and a green group, lots of green. I have a extra block I did for something. Look at that. Whoop, there we go. There's an extra block that was done. That needs to go into the part center. But I'll just leave it here for now. A bunch of small stuff. I guess I was thinking, you know, I'm going to use it. Here's... Oh, here is something I did for one of the blocks that just did not work that well. So that's definitely part center material, you know, needs to go. Here's like strips and stuff. Okay. And then I have a bunch of white based fabrics, which are, a lot of them are super cool novelties. You know, there's deer, peppermints. This is one of my favorites here with the 
uh, mountains with the little, you know, gondolas, all kinds of cool stuff. A stripe, word text, and the super cute Santa. Look at that. Okay, so I have all of this. Plus I have another jelly roll. I mean, I'm sorry, another layer cake. A layer cake of some Christmas fabric with just little bits of it used. Hmm, way more than I need for the amount of blocks, but that's, that's what I kept. Okay, so we'll put this over here. Now let's go to the beautiful morning. For beautiful morning, the entire quilt, here let me just pop a picture up of the quilt. The entire quilt just has two blocks and there's no sashing. So basically you put those two blocks together and your quilt's done. It is so fabulous. It has such a great impact. So our blocks this week for beautiful morning are the sort of X block. And I really, really love this one. All of the centers for mine are that light green. Now, when you look at the uh, picture of it, you know, just like the first, um, the first one, there's sort of a coloration uh, stripes, which you can use that concept to keep it a little bit more structured, or you can um, go ahead and just sort of mix it up. Now, I am doing a smaller version. There's a crib, a lap, and a queen size for this in the pattern. So if you have the kit for Beautiful Morning, you'll be doing the lap size. Because I'm, I'm just, you know, we have the lap size already, so I'm, which is actually borrowed for the Fat Quarter Shop, the lap, the lap quilt that I had out. So here are the three different sets that I have for the crib size with um, three of the blocks done in this, the pink and blue that really light blue and then this pink and then just one block done with these two fabrics and then I have two blocks for um, for the last set and these will be set side by side so I can just do a little mock up here and show you you know so the blocks will be set like this then you would have you know, another one here, you know, so that they would go down being across. Uh, this guy would be here. And then maybe I'd have, I have to look at the diagram, but I just basically took the top corner of what the, what the is being used and made the, made these ones, you know, made the colors that I'm doing. Where's another one here? Okay, here we go. So there you go. So you can kind of see how the colors can go right down. That one has to be turned because that birds have to go the right direction. Okay, so here, oh, this one too. I got them upside down. All right, so here are enough for a crib size and you will be making these blocks today or this week rather for your beautiful morning. While we are talking about birdsong fabric for the beautiful morning, remember that later this month, we will start the strawberry quilt. So the bird song will be done and we'll be starting with the strawberry uh, quilt along, which is also a kit. So you want to be sure that you have that so we can get going. Uh, and the tour Monday starts my uh, bird song love fest tour. Uh, every stop, there's a five, no, six days, six days of stops, two people on each one. And every uh, stop we will give away a layer cake so you want to enter it all six of the stops see what all of my friends have made with birdsong uh, if you are outside the US then we will be giving away one of my um, thread kits from Orifil as a non US um, prize because they'll ship to there so okay so everybody can play everybody can participate you must participate yes <laughs> So I did have a Q&A, so let me do that while I'm here on the back side of the table. Um, I had a Q&A about uh, the, the zone, the zone, the quilt zone, the uh, Sloan zone stuff. Okay, so like the bag and the t-shirts. Oops, oh, I got my finger. How does that happen? Okay, so I've got the bag and the t-shirts. Okay, so we had a question on how you know, how are they shipping? Um, where, you know, where can you, you know, get them? So anybody can order them. Uh, they will ship all over the world. 
they actually manufacture these in several different places. It's one of those places where you order and it comes right from where they're made, um, made on demand, uh, more or less. And so you have to though go through the towards the end of the checkout to get what the price is for international because it kind of they have to calculate where you are. They don't have a better way of doing that. Um, so you do have to get closer to the checkout to find out your shipping fees. But I also wanted to show you the mug and how well packaged it is. And Kate Spain, who is, um, you know, has it on her shop, she you know, has done these before. She told me they've never lost a mug yet. So that's good that it comes, because I wrote to her, I said that mug was so well packed. So it comes in a box like this. And when you open it, it is packaged tight. So do you see this? It's got a slot. This is actually around the mug rim. So can you see this here? See how that slot is around the mug rim? There's four of them. So one, you see, and then there's the other two. And then including that, there is a form that goes in the top of the mug so it doesn't shift. And then the mug is sitting in a formed unit that even has the handle cut out. So this is the box that it comes in and it will be very, very secure. So I was super impressed with that. I'm very impressed with all of these products. Kate and Pete um, Spain had done a lot of research to find out what um, company they wanted to work with. And so when they asked me if I wanted to collaborate with them and have my things there at their site, and so I knew they had done the research. So I was like, yes, because remember they did all these stuff for Ukraine too, uh, that are that's just supporting the World um, Central Kitchen. So, ah, uh, okay. All right, so let's go back on to the other side of the table because I want to show you the beautiful morning up on the wall now. So I took down the, uh, took time to be my neighbor blocks <laughs> beautiful morning is just so awesome so you can see here let me just scroll you in a little bit you can see here how the block is set all the way on this sort of horizontal or this um, vert um slant yeah <laughs> whatever you call it goes this way so they're the same block going down and i am uh doing one corner so that that'll be just a little bit smaller quilt. And then I will put a border on mine, which will be the next week. I'll have my blocks all set and have, and then I'll pick a border. We'll put, I'll put a couple borders up there because you might decide from, um, you know, particularly even if you have the kit, you might decide maybe you do want it a little bit bigger. So you could see, I'll do the small one with a border on it so you can get an idea of how that looks. But this is just the neatest quilt ever. It is a fun one to do. It is very easy and forgiving. There's a lot of sew and flip, so that is part of it. But doesn't it look great? Ah, oh, so good, so good. Okay, before we end, today is Be A Kid Day. Ah, oh, what is, tell me, tell me in the comments here, tell me over at Facebook. And if you have a quilt, that is a children's quilt, a, maybe a quilt that celebrates kids. You can share that today. But tell me what it is to you, what it means to be a kid. Like if you were going to do something today that felt like you were a kid, like I think I might just like go get ice cream or I don't know, play hopscotch or something like that. Oh, I don't know if I play hopscotch. I have to do more squats from uh, <laughs> from the other project. <laughs> oh, that wasn't good. Okay. <laughs> but I would like you to at least uh, to tell me. I think that that would be fun. Tell me what it is to be a kid. Okay. I hope uh, that answered all your questions on the Sloan Zone things. And so we are going to go and sew today on Happy Friday. So I love you. Mwah. Thank you for being here in the Sloan Zone. I will see you online. <laughs>